Hey everyone, it's Joanne Molinaro, the Korean vegan, and as promised, this is the instructional recipe video for this rainbow jun. If you missed it, I did a story time video with this rainbow jun last week, and I wanted to provide those of you who want to try this at home a really easy to follow recipe tutorial. It's so beautiful, it's so tasty, and cabbage is the most underrated health food out there because it's so cheap and gorgeous. So color is the name of the game, but I also like to add a little bit of heat. So I'm using an entire jalapeno here, but I am seeding it because I'm not insane. <laughs> if you can handle the heat, feel free to keep the seeds in, but I did seed it and get rid of all the membrane in order to make sure that I didn't burn my tongue off. I'm just going to slice it up into thin little slices to add to our batter, no biggie. So as you can see, pretty thinly sliced because I didn't want big chunks of jalapeno in my pancake. And then we're gonna stick it into a large bowl and then I've got a russet potato. I'm not going to peel the potato. I know some people don't like the peel. If you don't like the peel, go ahead and peel it up. I'm too lazy for that and quite frankly, all of the health nutrients to the extent that there are any in a white russet potato resides in the peel. And then I'm just going to julienne it, which is a very fancy French way of saying cut them up into matchsticks, which is what I'm doing over there. And then we're gonna grab them all up and throw it into the same bowl with the jalapeno. I've got here, I think, three of the last good scallions in my fridge. I'm just gonna run my knife through it really quickly, just chop it up into little pieces. Throw that into my bowl. I've got two carrots, one small one, one medium large one, if you will. And I've got this really cool carrot julienner. I'll include a link to this below in the description if you want it. It's so much easier than trying to chop up a carrot with a knife. And as you know, carrots are round, so it's much harder to create the necessary stability to chop carrots up into matchsticks with any level of confidence. So I really love using the carrot julienner for this. It just makes the job much easier and faster. Then we've got red cabbage, which is really the star of this recipe. I wanted to highlight red cabbage, not only because of its absolutely gorgeous color and texture, but because that color signifies the health benefit, which is the antioxidants. So I'm gonna chop this up into thin little pieces like matchsticks, as we've done with all of the other vegetables, just running my knife through them to create that julienne effect. And then we're gonna dump this all into our big bowl of veggies and you can already see how gorgeous it looks. We're gonna add about one half of a cup of liquid egg replacer. I'm using just egg. We're gonna use one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder. And folks, these seasonings make a huge difference. I'm using two tablespoons of potato starch. If you don't have potato starch, you can use corn starch. I'm also adding a fourth of a cup of regular flour. You can also use gluten-free flour. And then to give it that extra umami oomph, I'm going to add two tablespoons of soy sauce as well. And then we're just gonna stir this all up together. You can use a fork, you can use a spoon. I'm using my chopsticks because that's what I always use to cook these days. And it can be a bit of a pain, I will be honest, to get this all mixed up, but you do wanna make sure that all your veggies are evenly coated with the flour, the potato starch. I know what you're gonna ask, what's the difference between cornstarch or arrowroot or tapioca? to potato starch. Potato starch just gives you a crispier batter. So when you 
crisp up this pancake. It's gonna be much crispier and lighter when you use potato starch. The other starches are just as fine, but you'll get more of a crunchy rather than crispy pancake. We've got a huge nonstick pan there that I've oiled up with some extra virgin olive oil, and then we're gonna dump the entire contents of our bowl straight into that hot pan. We do want that pan to be hot, so when you do put the oil in, let's put it up to medium-high heat, get it nice and shimmery, and then add the contents of our bowl. And we're gonna flatten it out a little bit. We don't want a mound. We do want sort of a pancake shape and that's what it looks like from the top. And we're gonna let it cook for about two to three minutes until it gets brown on one side before we attempt to flip it. I do say attempt because uh, yeah, that did take a little bit of time for me to figure it out. Um, but ultimately it just meant that I used a very large spatula. And there we go, I did it. I think with a little practice, you all can manage to. And if it doesn't turn out perfect, don't worry about it. You can always fix it on the back end. Then we're gonna add about a tablespoon of black sesame seeds. If you don't have black sesame seeds, you can use the golden sesame seeds or no sesame seeds at all, although I will say they add a lovely texture. We're gonna flip it again because we want those sesame seeds to kind of get embedded into the pancake there. We're gonna cook it again for another minute or so before adding another tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. You can use any vegetable oil, by the way, folks. It doesn't need to be extra virgin around the edge. Flip it again. And look at that golden color. I mean, it's just so beautiful. Then we're gonna take it off the heat. I will take it out of the pan, but I'm gonna let it sit on my cutting board for a bit before I try to cut into it. Look at how beautiful that looks. I mean, that is a rainbow chun. Chun, by the way, is Korean for sort of like pancake. I mean, there's no word for pancake in Korean, um, but it's, it's basically the equivalent of a pancake. So you'll see all sorts of chuns, like pajeon is a very popular one, that's scallion pancake. Uh, hemul pajeon, you know, if you're not vegan, that's seafood scallion pancake. Kamja chun, which I've made before, which is potato pancake. And here, like I said, the star ingredient is that uh, pechu, which is cabbage pancake. So I'm, I'm calling this rainbow because there's just so many gorgeous colors in here and I just thought it looked so lovely. I ended up making this for our Lunar New Year dinner here and it was such a hit. And just when you cut it up like that into those really gorgeous pieces, it looks even better in my opinion. So impressive. What a perfect dish to serve at a dinner party to really wow your guests when dinner parties are back in order, of course, or even just for yourself at dinner. If you have a small family and you want to impress them and really wow them, this is such a great and colorful dish to do so. Anyways, guys, I really hoped you enjoyed this. If you did miss that story time video, please be sure to check that out. And if you like this video, please remember to hit that like button below and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. Have a lovely day.